The first Elden Ring Modathon was incredible. We had so many great submissions, some from modding veterans and others who were making their very first mod. Participants had one week to create a mod from scratch for one of the three categories, with a total prize pool of $1,000. At the end of the video, we'll crown our winners as selected by our judges, Amir, Zoli, and Lobos. The diversity and creativity of the submissions genuinely shocked me, whether they added new features to enhance the game experience or changed it entirely. These were the best submissions of the Elden Ring Modathon. We had by far the most submissions for the Game Changer category, starting with King Boar's Remembrance of the Hidden Mod. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Elden Ring may have added stealth to the FromSoft formula, but it is by no means a stealth game. However, in this mod, stealth becomes almost necessary for every encounter. Well. Oh! All enemies lose track of the player quickly, and you'll have new tools to distract and assassinate your targets. With reduced HP and FP, avoiding confrontation is a must, while fully charging attacks while undetected will deal increased damage. What's that over there? No, 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 what's that? There you go. Yeah! Remembrance of the Hidden was my personal favorite of the Game Changer mods as it enabled a playstyle that has been missing in Elden Ring despite all the various stealth enhancing features. It was also done in a way that was rather polished and unfrustrating, and included several side features that allowed you to take the playstyle further. Areas like Stormvale, which felt like they were partially built around stealth being an option, are far more fun to use stealth in. Even boss fights were engaging, as there was a skill depth to finding ways to lose them so you can set up another sneak attack. There were quite a few submissions for the reskin category as well, but what really made these submissions stand out were changes made to both visuals and gameplay. Mega Man's Mega Buster was one of my favorite reskins because it not only included multiple well-integrated models, but also custom icons for new spells. They actually made it so you could like sort of freely move fully while using them. They were not high commitment at all, which I'm pretty sure is like exactly how it worked in that other game, right? Like, you just pew 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 as you're running, and you have sort of full control during it. Right? Pew pew pew! <laughs> and then you can press R2 to recharge your FP, which is quite nice. It's obvious a lot of consideration went into both the design and technical aspects of this mod, and it really shows. Hey Bogar, have you seen this next mod? Oh, piss off. What is it now? I think you'll like it. Elden Ring Gourmet is a mod that adds all new crafting items with custom art and effects. The creators had such incredible detail here, including the delectable flavor text. Most of the craftable items added new throwing items or powerful buffs, with a few side effects. Gourmet was a, a treat, no pun intended with all the new uh, recipes they added into the game. There's such clever writing on all the descriptions of the items. Here, just uh, remove all ailments. That's, see, your HP and FP are restored and all your ailments are cured just like advertised. All right, this, this mod's getting a 0 out of 10 for me. Weakness Ring transforms Elden Ring's gameplay loop into a puzzle game, set in Stormvale Castle for the scope of the modathon. In this mod, every enemy is a puzzle and you have to use some of your pre-existing game knowledge to figure out how to progress. I don't know, it's a really cool way of making it entirely about the knowledge that you acquire. So... You know, certain enemies were immune to, well, all the enemies were basically immune to everything except for whatever damage type they were weak to, whether it was lightning or uh, rot or bleed. And you had to work your way through there and get those, those different types unlocked by either finding the weapons or finding spells or um, anything else that you could use to, to apply those effects. And then it ends with Godric, which is a a little mini puzzle in its own, so that was a lot of fun. Watching the judges play this mod was great because it showed how making discoveries in different orders could affect the mystery. To top it off, there was some additional story and hints to guide the player. I would love to see more of this in a full version. Did you ever find a way? How can I make Godric vulnerable? 
Poison Stone, Glintstone, Holy Water, Kukri, Lightning Grease, it's all trash. Coming here was a mistake. Maybe if I combine. Oh, I see. Interesting. Now that we've gone through some honorable mentions, it's time to showcase our winners. Starting with the category of Most Cursed for $250, our winner is... Better Monster Creation by Harmonixer. This mod simply increases the range of sliders during character creation. I think it's pretty evident as to why it fit the category so well. Better Monster Creation was a really cool mod because I always do really ridiculous character customizations. That's just kind of been a thing ever since I started doing challenge runs and stuff. Um, and this allows you to take those crazy creations even further by extending the, the constraints on the sliders. So instead of zero to 100, you can go negative 500 to 500 and just make some absolutely ridiculous faces, which is always a, a plus. What really puts the mod on the next level is the fact that it changes all armor sets along with the body, leading to some extremely cursed situations. For the best reskin category, we had so many great submissions, and the decision to pick a winner was incredibly close. But our winner for best reskin and $250 is The Dark Souls 1 Fangbor by Max the Miracle. Oh, well, the DS1 thing bore is just really fun to play around, you know? It's just like, when you're riding on your horse in the vanilla game, uh, it can be pretty obnoxious to run around regular, like, hordes of enemies and stuff. Like, you act actively need to make sure you're not hit once, or else you'll just get, like, stunned off and whatever. Which is balanced and such, but it's also nice to just have a mod that sort of unlocks that and just makes you, like, sort of unstoppable while you're riding. From the walking and running animations to the new gameplay additions, this mod would be a fantastic addition to any mod pack. It really it really goes with the reskin category, because it sort of emulates the feeling you might have felt fighting that enemy for the first time in DS1, where, you know, it just sort of felt like an unstoppable force. Our final category really showed off the ambition of our competitors, as there's a lot to make a complete overhaul in just one week, but our winner managed to do just that. For the Game Changer category, and $500, our winner is Sword Mastery by Anti Stake. This mod is a total combat overhaul that introduces familiar mechanics like Sekiro Deflex, Bloodborne Dodges, and the Rally System, but it also includes some new additions as well. Weapon types have different kinds of deflects and their own combos. There is so much variety here, the creator ended up making a guide on how to perform all weapon combos. And it, it really changed it, the feel of the game so much and different than Sekiro too because it, it was a blend of the two. To make these mechanics meld with Elden Ring, the creator made changes to some bosses as well. Bosses have faster animations, are more aggressive, and large attacks cause this weird lens effect so you can see the scope of the entire attack. The mod is still being updated and I highly recommend checking it out for yourself. That said, there were way too many submissions to show off in just one video, so I will be linking the Modathon submission page in the description. Special thanks to our judges and to all the participants who made this event possible. The submissions were incredible and I can't wait to see what you guys make next year. See you next time.